Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Celetti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.13 from chapter number 3. Okay, so the problem is simplify the following expressions to sum of product and product of some expression. That means we are given with four different expressions a b c and d and from that we have to find out the simplified sum of product and product of some expressions okay so let us start with one by one so the first problem is x bar z bar y bar z bar y z bar and x y okay here we can see that it is the three variable functions x y and z are the three variables okay so we'll put here in this table let me first write down this one x okay this one is y and this one is z so x bar is this row first row and z bar is first column and the fourth column okay so we'll put here one and one then we have y bar z bar y bar z bar means y bar is first two column okay z bar is first column and the fourth column so the common column is first column so we'll put here one uh, the third term is y z bar y is y is this third and the fourth column okay and z bar is this first column and the fourth column okay so we have to put here one then we have x y x is this row okay and y is this two column okay so we'll put here one so this is the three variable map so from here we can combine like this so this will be one term and this will be another term so from this combination we'll get x will be cancelled so it will be z plus and from this term what we'll get x y z plus x y for this combination we'll get that it is zero zero because that will be z bar z bar plus x y so this is the simplified sum of product expression now for finding out the product of sums what we have to do we have to put the zero values in this table okay so these are all our one so we are left with these three boxes and we have to put here zero so zero zero and zero okay so how we can combine we can combine like this okay so we'll get f does equal to from this time what we'll get x bar plus oh sorry x bar and z x bar z plus and from this term what we'll get y bar z y bar z okay so f will be as we have to take complement it will be x plus z bar all into y plus z bar so these are the two simplified sum of product and product of some expression okay so first part of the problem is complete now let us go to our second part of the problem in the second part we have a four variable function okay so we have to make a four variable map so first term is so let us first write down this value this one is a this one is b this will be c and this for this two column will be d that means for this two column c value is one for this two second and the third column we have d value is one for this third and the fourth row we have a value is one and for the second and the third row we have b value is one and similarly for this map also let me write down first okay so this is b this is c and this one is d so what we have a c d bar c d bar means okay c d bar means this fourth column okay c d bar means fourth column then we have to multiply with a okay so this column is c d bar and a is this two row so we have to put here one and one then the next term is c bar d c bar d means c bar d c bar d so this column whole column okay so we have to put here one 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 because it is a sum of product expression okay so we have to put here all one values and for the third term what we have a b bar a b bar means a b bar b bar means zero okay a means one okay so we have to put all ones here all ones here because we have already one and one here so we have to put only this two box then we have a b c d a b is this row and c d is this column okay so we have to put here one now let us see how we can combine so this will be one term this will be another term and this will be the third term from here we will get 
from this row what we'll get it is a b bar plus from this column we'll get c bar d okay plus from this combination what we'll get it is a c a c okay now we have to find out the product of some expression for finding out the product of expression we have to fill up this table with zero values okay so what we can see from here this tree has zero values zero 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 then we have because the function is the same for both this table for finding out the pro product of some expression so we will put here zero 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 then we have zero 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 because these all are filled and these two also okay so how we can combine it so we can combine like this this will be one combination this will be another combination okay and this will be the third term so therefore f dash will be so from this term what we'll get we'll get a bar and d bar a bar d bar okay so from this term what we'll get a bar and c plus a bar c plus from this term what we'll get we'll get b c bar d bar b c bar d bar so if we take the complement we'll get f okay so using de morgan's theorem what we'll get a plus d okay after simplification i am writing all into a plus c bar all into b bar plus c plus d okay so this is the simplified product of some expression now let us go to our third part of the problem in the third part of the problem we have this product of some expression given okay so we have to put zero values for this term so for this term a plus c bar plus d bar okay c bar d bar means this column okay c bar d bar means this column and a is this two row okay because this one is a this one is b similar to the previous cases c and this two column is d okay so a c bar d bar c bar plus d bar means this one c also zero d is also two. so this column okay and a is this last two row okay so we have to put zero here because this is a product of some expression we have to put here zero then we have a bar plus b bar plus d bar so a bar plus b bar is this row okay then we have d bar d bar is first column and the fourth column so we have to put here zero and zero then we have a bar plus b plus d bar okay so b d bar b d bar is this one column and a bar is first two row so we have to put here one then we have a bar plus b plus c bar so a bar b a bar b means this row second row okay then we have c bar c bar means first two okay so we'll have zero here so from here how we can combine it we can combine like this this will be one term this will be second term okay and this will be the third term from this term what we'll get c bar plus c bar d bar okay plus from this term what we'll get this term okay from this combination we'll get a bar and d bar a bar d bar okay plus from this term what we'll get a bar b a bar b okay and from this side we'll get c bar c bar this is the f complement okay so f will be uh, using de morgan's theorem after simplification we'll get c plus d all into a plus d all into a plus b bar plus c okay so this is the product of some expression simplified product of some expression okay now we'll find out the sum of product simplified sum of product expression so what we have to do we have to put ones of this in this empty boxes okay so we will have one one then one 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 one, one then we have one 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 okay so how we can combine it we can combine like this then we can combine like this the third term will be this one okay and the fourth term will be this one okay so from this one what we'll get it is cd cd plus from this term what we'll get it is b bar d 
b bar d plus from this term what we will get a d plus a d and from this term what we will get a a c plus a c so this is the simplified sum of product expression then we have the fourth part of the problem in the fourth part we are given with this function okay so we'll put here in the table the first term is a b c bar a b is this row okay this one is a this is b this is c and this two column is d similarly here also a b c and d okay so we have a b c bar a b is this row okay and c bar means first two column so we'll put here one and one whenever we have sum of product expression we'll put one here okay and whenever we have product of some expression then we'll put there zero okay so the next term will be a b bar d a b bar means this fourth row okay and a b bar d d means these two columns okay so we'll put here one and one then we have b c d c d is this column okay then we have b b is one for this second and the third row so we'll put here one so we can combine like this so this will be the second term and this will be the third term so from this four variable map we can write the simplified expression as from this term what we'll get a d plus from this term what we'll get a b c bar plus from this term what we'll get b c d b c d okay and so this is the simplified sum of product expression okay so for finding out the product of sum we will put the zero values here a b c d so we have to put zero values here zero 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 then we have zero zero because this one is one field okay zero 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 and then we have zero here okay so how we can combine it we can combine like this okay so second term will be this one so the third term will be all the corner values okay and the fourth term will be this one okay so f this will be from this term what we'll get a bar a bar and from this side we'll get c bar plus from this term what we'll get it is a bar b bar plus from this term what we'll get it is c d bar c d bar plus from this corner values what we'll get from these two row we'll get b bar and from this two column we'll get d bar b bar d bar okay so f will be a plus c all into a plus b all into c bar plus d all into b plus d this is the simplified product of some expression okay so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you